As we're looking at December climatology for Tulsa, we typically should be in the 50s for highs and lows in the 30s. We've been anything but close to this over the last couple of days as we kicked off the month of December. Notice so by the end of December, we should be trending with highs in the 40s and lows below that freezing mark. We have the average rainfall closer about two and a half average snowfall, which is hard to say because we've had some near record warmth that we actually broke a record temperature as we looked at our Thursday with a high of 78 degrees, actually close to the record high of 80 degrees for the entire month. Very impressive uh, warmth building across the area. We have a roller coaster ride going on as we look towards our weekend and into the work week next week. We have 60s for today, so cooler, but still staying above that seasonal average of 54. 72 for tomorrow, we will have those south winds returning. That's going to boost those temperatures up. We have some rainfall in the mix as well. You could see kind of an ominous setting as we're looking out using our South Tulsa camera. We're seeing those, that blanket of clouds and those will remain with us. 54 for today, great day to maybe hang back and uh, either watch some great football going on today, maybe hang back in the house, play some games because those temperatures remain in those 50s. Not really an exciting day to get out. We're not gonna see a whole lot of sun in the mix for today. 57 warmer over in Coweta versus 50 over in Sky Took, Owasso. Good morning to you guys. 54 right here in Tulsa. Treat yourself too. It's National Cookie Day. We were talking about Julie and I love those chocolate chips. Now my stomach's starting to rumble. Mostly cloudy and we are seeing cooler temperatures for today. 62 will be the daytime high, so staying well below that seasonal average. In terms of weather impacts for the weekend and into the start of the work week, we're looking at some light rain showers tonight. Tomorrow we do have a strong passing cold front and that's going to drive in some showers as well as some storms. I'll let you know who in just a second. Windy conditions and a big drop in those temperatures for next week. Marginal risk for Sunday evening, not tonight, tomorrow night, for an isolated strong storm to develop. A marginal risk is the lower in threat. So tornadoes are very, very low, but it's not completely ruled out. Up to 60 mile per hour winds and up to ping pong size hail. And that's going to be for those areas that were in that green. Isolated showers potentially in the mix for this afternoon and evening, mainly confined to our southeasternmost counties. We'll get that clearing, which is going to keep those overnight lows in those 50s here in our area. But we're, you're seeing that clearing, keeping those in the 40s. It's not until tomorrow. Here comes that system that will be dropping to the south and off to the east and better opportunity for those stronger storms developing south of I-44. Make sure you have multiple ways to stay weather aware. We, of course, we'll have our eye on this. Meteorologist Brandon Woolley will be in as well, keeping a close watch on this for you. 72 for your high tomorrow, low of 39. Temperatures really flirting closer to that freezing mark as we look at the extended planner. Annie, thank you.